Hey everybody, uh, in this video we're going to look at how to run some uh, method or just some functionality whenever we enter a view in a Stencil.js application. So I've got the uh, component lifecycle methods up on the screen right now. And if you've used uh, perhaps Ionic Angular before, uh, you may be used to lifecycle hooks like ion view did enter and ion view will enter. And so those methods would run automatically whenever a view was entered. And so with Stencil.js, we have a similar type of uh, lifecycle hooks that we can make use of, uh, but we don't actually have one that will run every time that a view is displayed on the screen. So if you only need to run something when the component loads, uh, then that's fine. You can use component did load or component will load, for example, and then you can run whatever code you need to run. And then if you're going to unload that component, and then reload it uh, later, then it doesn't really matter because every time uh, every time you activate that page, if the component did load is triggering, then you can run the code you need. Uh, but in some cases, the pages that you are going to might be kept in memory and this component did load won't uh, trigger again when you revisit it. And sometimes we will want to do that. Now, fortunately, this is pretty easy to deal with. What we can do is make use of this component did load uh, method or the component will load method uh, in conjunction with functionality from the Ionic router. Uh, this is assuming that you're using Ionic with Stencil.js in this case. Uh, but what I'm going to do is just go to the Ionic framework documentation. And I just want to bring up the documentation for the Ion router. Now, if we come down here, you'll see some events we have, and we have ion route did change and ion route will change. So we can listen for those events, and that's going to tell us every time that the router has changed the view, uh, no matter whether or not that uh, resulted in a component being loaded, uh, this will run uh, anyway. So I've set up a little example in uh, VS Code here, uh, which we're gonna take a look at now. And so this is just the default Ionic PWA starter with Stencil. Uh, I just have the home page and a profile page. And so what I want to do in this case is uh, use that Ion route did change event to run some code every time that the route uh, changes to this page here. So what I've done is I have a reference to uh, the Ion router here, which I've just called nav controller. Uh, I will link to another video if you're not sure how this kind of thing here works in Stencil. Uh, but basically, if we want to get a reference to uh, one of Ionic's web components, we can, and then we can use that functionality uh, that's provided. So if we look in app root, for example, you can see here we have Ion router. That's what we're grabbing, and that's what we're going to be listening for that event on. And then what we do is inside of this component did load method, uh, or you could use component will load if you prefer. We just uh, call the add event listener method on it, and then we supply Ion route did change, which is the method that we or rather the event we want to listen for. And then we just apply a function that is going to do uh, whatever we want. So in this case, I'm just logging out, do something, uh, but obviously you could do whatever you like in here. And so now if we go into the browser, we'll just take a look at what that actually does. So I'm on the home page here now. And if I click on profile page, uh, I get that do something logged out. And if I go back and forward again, you can see that we're, you know, we're triggering that do something every time that the route changes. And because this isn't being unloaded either, uh, we're just kind of getting this build up of um, uh, uh, functions running here. So to combat this, what we can do instead, rather than getting this, you know, five functions running at once kind of thing, is we can clean up after ourselves and just remove that uh, listener when we leave the page or rather when the page unloads. So you could set this up in, in different ways. It depends on exactly what you want to do as to when you add and remove these event listeners, but we'll just go through this example of removing it when the component unloads. So we'll listen for component did unload, which is basically the opposite of this event, uh, this lifecycle hook. And what we want to do is then remove this listener uh, when that happens. So in order to do this, we need to say this.navcontrol remove event listener. And we're gonna to have to supply that with the event that we want to remove, which is ion route did change. And we also need to supply the, the function that we're uh, removing. 
So this doesn't really work very well in this situation. Uh, so what I'm gonna have to do is just refactor this a bit. And what I'm going to do is just move this function up into its own uh, variable here. I'm just gonna call this uh, my method. You can call it whatever you like. So we're going to create a function there, which is just going to do exactly what, uh, what it was doing before, just console log out, do something. So now this, uh, this function is uh, assigned to this variable here, my method, which is a class member. And so now what we're going to do is instead of uh, defining that function there, we're just going to supply that with this, oops, uh, this dot my method. And we're going to do the same down here as well for the remove listener. So in component did load, we add that event listener using my method and then in component did unload, we remove that event listener using that same method. So we'll save that now and we will jump back into the browser and see uh, if we have something uh, different. And you actually need to refresh this, uh, the hot module replacement, the live reload will actually keep those event listeners running, I think. Uh, so just give your application a refresh after you make those changes. And now if we click on profile page, uh, you'll see that it says do something. Uh, if we go back, uh, we'd no longer get that do something logging out again on that backwards transition because we've just unloaded the uh, component and we triggered that remove event listener. And now if we go back to the profile page again, we get our second do something logging out, uh, go back again and we don't get it logging out, which is exactly what we wanted in this case. So now we can just go backwards and forwards and every time we hit the profile page, it's going to run that method uh, and not on the home page. So as I was saying, you know, it's going to depend on exactly what you want to achieve as to how you set this up exactly. But the main point of this video is to demonstrate how to use these ion route did change uh, uh, events to run some code uh, in response to route changes, as opposed to just having to rely on these um, component lifecycle methods. Okay, so I hope this video was helpful. If it was, do uh, feel free to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.